Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well in this video we're going to build this awesome 3D blog carousel. Now this is built using the Divi blog carousel module. If you want to try it out you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's get started. I'm going to go to a page that doesn't have this on it. I'm going to enable the visual builder that will enable us to build on the front end. Here's a sort of a product carousel that we've built with one of their other products. The uh, Divi Gear who produces this plugin do some fantastic modules here and we've been demonstrating them. Uh, the one today is the blog carousel module. So let's enable our visual builder here. Once the builder is enabled let's go down where we want to work. Of course this is uh, building on the front end is part of the Divi theme. That's the one we built last time which was just a sort of static rolling one. Let's just put a row in here somewhere. Let's add a new section, little blue button. Gonna make it a regular section. You'd think because it's going to be full width you'd put a full width section in there but actually it doesn't work like that. You've got to put a regular section in there. And I'm going to make it one column, one row. If you want to take the Divi theme for a spin, you can do that also from the affiliate link below this video. It comes with all these modules of standards. These little ones with the purple icons are the Divi gear ones that we'll be using today. The ones with the purple backgrounds are for another plugin we'll be talking about in other videos. So let's go ahead and add our blog carousel module, which is up the top here. There it is, Divi Blog Carousel. Now obviously if you're doing a blog carousel you've got to have blog posts before you can do this. I've got plenty on this site so if you haven't got a blog posts you better get blogging uh, because it won't work without blog posts. And what it does, it pulls the metadata from it. It'll pull the uh, default image and the title, the meta metadata right there and obviously a bit of the content. So as you can see by default it's thrown in three images there and you can choose up here how many posts to revolve in your carousel. 12 I'm going to leave that just exactly like that. I'm going to do recent posts so I'm sure you can use category. Yep category is not popular but recent posts is fine to me. Newest to oldest that's great too. Okay let's have a look at elements here. Show featured image. Yep that's our featured image right there. Show excerpt. This is the excerpt. Excerpt length. You can choose how long it is. Let's change that from 120. Let's say 100. Shorten it a little bit. And obviously you can make it longer also. Show categories. Well here's our categories. Web design. Show author. There's the author. Divi gear show the date there's the date i'm happy with all that you can turn them on or off turn on your comment count read more if you need to let's move on down to the carousel settings okay we've got the choice of showing on extra large desktop tablet and mobile how many they're gonna gonna show so what i'm going to do at this point is i'm going to make our row full width and i'm going to give it a background color so let's just save this. Let's go into our row. Now it's green for the row, blue for the section. So let's go into our row and make this full width. To the design tab, sizing. Slide this one up to 100. I'm sure if you watch my videos before you know how to do this, but for those that don't, here it is. And paste in 100% on max width as well. Now we've got these spanning the whole of the width of our screen here, which is what I want. But I'll give them a bit of space either side, just a bit of breathing room so they don't sort of fall off the page like that. So let's go down to spacing. And I want padding left and right. Let's give it 50 left. Hit the link chain and it'll do the right side too. Great. That's exactly what I need. We'll save that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to our section, the blue tab. 
I'm going to give it a background color. I'll give it a background gradient, make it more interesting. See my first color. Let's make that 333. And next color, let's make that black. That's fine. Great. Now let's go back into our module and adjust these settings. And we were in the carousel settings. And here we are on extra large. This is just a regular desktop you're viewing it on at the moment. But for extra large, I'm going to ramp it up to six. Same for my desktop here. I'm going to have six blog posts displayed there. That's great. On a tablet, let's change that to three. And on mobile one, that's fine. Multi-slide, I'm going to leave that to off because multi-slide is going to slide this whole group along and a new group will appear. If you leave that off, it'll just increment them one by one, which is going to work for me today. So I'm going to leave that off. Spacing, I'm going to leave that exactly where it is for the moment, but we will change that in a, in a minute to get our 3D effect. Let's change the transition duration, the time it takes to flip from one to the other to three quarters of a second or 700, 750 milliseconds. Don't think I want arrow nav navigation. I will have dot navigation. Now center slide. I'm going to put this to on. It'll look a bit strange for a minute. And what it's going to do is put a slide in center there. I'm going to say loop because I want my posts to go round and round. I want it to auto play. In other words, I don't want to have to click through it manually. I want it to revolve on its own. I'm going to click pause on hover. That means when anybody pulls their mouse over the top of it, it'll stop revolving and give them time to read the content a little bit. Auto play delays, it's already set to 1500 milliseconds or a second and a half, which gives everything time to load, which is fine. I'm going to flip the equal height button to on just to make sure they're all the same height. Now, here's where the fun part starts. Slide effect. Last time we used slide, which is just exactly like this, and those will just slide a little bit at a time. This time, I'm going to flip it to cover flow. There we are. You can see they're kind of higgledy piggledy there. And what it does, it adds a bit of inner shadow to them as well to give a 3D effect. You can't see it too much with the background that I've got at the moment. We'll, we'll change that in a second. Now, what I'm going to do. You slide this rotate until it's sort of higher how I want it, which is kind of like that. Now I'm going to roll back up and I'm going to change the spacing so they overlap a bit more. Something like that. Obviously, play with it, get it exactly how you want it. But that's fine for me at the moment. So let's keep going down. Background color. Now this is going to change the content background color here. Let's put that on blue. Fantastic. At least we can see what's going on there. And as you can see, that sort of inner shadow that it's given it gives it the 3D effect. Great. Well, let's move on to our design tab. Now image style. That's our featured image or default image for our blog post. The moment it's set to medium which is fine but to me it looks like it's cutting off the size of some of my images here you can't read all that text there so I'm going to set mine to default there we go and we can read everything nicely on there now as you see the images are some of them different sizes some are tall some are not so tall but it's making these all the same height because we flip that button on that's fine I don't want any borders or rounded corners on this Overlay styles don't need an overlay. I'm happy to see the featured image there. Title, here's our title. Let's move on to that. I'm going to leave it as the default font. There's plenty to choose from there. Divi comes with hundreds, literally hundreds of font families for you to play with. So you're never going to be short of a font. But I'll leave that mine as the default. And the text size is fine. I want to put it in the middle. I want to put it make it white and in a little while we'll adjust the padding so it's got a bit more breathing room everything else I'm going to leave exactly the same now the metadata 
which is is the uh, category and the date and the author don't want an icon don't want to put them at the bottom but I do want to align them centrally and I guess I'll make them this crazy pink color that the rest of the site's been I've got that saved somewhere in a notepad so let's go into the meta text color and paste in the hex code that I've got here there we go that's fine moving on down text size is absolutely fine don't need to change anything else there now the content that's our other little bit down the bottom there I'm going to make that white again I want to centralize it perfect keep going down read more okay I haven't got to read more so if we go back to our content and go back down to elements I think I forgot to switch that one on show read more button there we are let's just flip that to on there we go and there it is right there so again I want that in the middle and I think I want it to be white and the background that crazy pink color perhaps so let's go down to the read more I don't want it to be full width you can have it full width if you want if I put the background color in there let's actually change the text to white and we'll centralize it and I want to put the background color as that pink color I had there we go and we'll position it in just a moment button at the bottom let's put it on the bottom there next and previous button we don't have dots I'm happy to leave as they are with the active one as being blue like that now let's go into our custom spacing and just make this look a little more organized here so here's our container which is the whole thing if I was to put padding or anything there it would make our image smaller so I want to go to the content this is our content here so I'm going to go to the content and top and bottom I want to give it a bit of padding so here's content padding just have to type in 30 it'll put the px in there for you hit the chain it'll do the opposite which is the bottom obviously there left and right let's say 15 pixels that's fine now let's have a look at our button here's our button don't need to change the wrapper padding let's have 10 pixels top and bottom and say 20 pixels left and right and what I do I want to put that button in the middle so let's go back up here to read more here we are alignment and pop that one in the middle fantastic so I think we've just about got everything done here that we need to so we can see it moving you can't see it moving while we've got the visual builder active so there's nothing else I particularly want to do here let's save our changes save the page changes once saved we can exit the visual builder and let's roll down to where we were working there we go take my mouse off of it and it'll start rolling that's a nice little feature to have on your site to showcase your little blog posts I'm really impressed with that good job Divi gear like I say if you put your mouse over it it's going to pause it so people can read whatever you need to these little buttons here are going to make it jump to whichever one very useful let's make sure it's going to work so let's click on the read more button in fact anywhere on the element will probably make it jump to the blog post fantastic there we have it so there you go that is how to make a 3d blog carousel 
with the fantastic Divi Blog Carousel module from Divi Gear. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. Don't forget you can download this from my affiliate link below this video if you want to check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.